So Goo over here asks, hey, what can we expect for Monday? And the spy had a pretty interesting day. So let's quick check it out over here. So SPY, the spy, was gapping down today. We are gapping down. And in the overnight session, if you uh, have, have been following recent Weenie Trades videos, saying 425.60 is that level to potentially dip buy off of. Well, it's really uh, frustrating sometimes is that the thieves in the night got it. They did the dip buy in the pre-market. So it, was, it made for an interesting day because whenever they do that, it's kind of up for grabs. It's kind of like saying, oh, are we gonna rally on the day because we hit my support level that I was looking to buy at, but it did it in the pre-market versus regular market, or does it mean that we could have potentially more downside? Well, so far it looks like that was the level and we could have a short-term low in, 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 intact for now, but I don't know if it, I see it just yet. We still have high, low, lower high, lower low. We're still potentially putting in a lower high right there at about 436. And just for reference, the 436 short, uh, bought this put option right at the high of the day, but I just scalped it, you know. It was, it should have probably uh, held it for a little bit bigger of a move. But nonetheless, there's SPY bouncing off these support levels. So I would say if SPY is closing above 435, we could see a little bit of a gap up continuation into Monday. And that would be, uh, but that would take SPY probably up to about 438, 439. So 438 to 439, so 438 to 439, that's an upper resistance zone. If we are getting there early in the week, I do think it could be a potential short trade. Otherwise, if SPY uh, starts to sell off, there could be a little bit of a dip by at 430. I wouldn't be interested in though, because it might not get that good of a bounce and SPY could roll over. So again, nothing really has changed too much with today's green day on the SPY. And what I'm looking at is, is okay, we had our uptrend, we broke down, kickback rally into resistance, sold off. Okay, what is next? Uh, probably just a lot of chop shop. We could just stay in a choppy, volatile range. We could come all the way up to the top. This breakdown candle high right over here at 439.76. That could be another area of resistance and sell off from that level. What I'm saying is it's very unlikely that we see SPY above mid 440s anytime soon in the next couple of months due to the chart damage that was done from this sell off. So SPY, pretty interesting. It'll be interesting to see if we are above 435 or beneath 435. And there she goes into the close, a little bit of a dump. And there you go. So we might be getting a little bit more of a potential bearish scenario into the close. And look, that put option right at the closing, right at the high of the day. Option contract goes from 0 0.8, 0 0.8 up to 2.4. That's a pretty good move on an option contract. And we're doing it right into the close. Zoom out, look at the hourly time frame. Where are we on the hourly trend? Where are we on the four hour? It, it can eliminate a lot of the noise. See, look, SPY, just, just green candles if we just look at the four hour. But if we look at the one minute, this, the, 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 this is all over the place. You know, spiking the lows, changing directions. We identified the bull flag. We actually identified SPY the bull flag at 430 when we rallied. Whenever you have the chance to sell off and you don't sell off, that's usually when you start to move higher. It's a very interesting on the overall market. I've got to get ready for a chess tournament. You guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Or through the virtual YouTube network. Okay, bye-bye. And Peter says, check out the course. Bye-bye.